This playthrough is rated M for Mature. You know when they say the best time to do side quests is when the world is about to die. Greetings and salutations, viewers of Honor Vecchio with another episode of Shadow Hearts and wait a minute, didn't we just do this last episode? Are we repeating something? Wait a minute. No wait, actually we want to go back here to the Nemeton Monastery because we're starting the side quests and one of the things we can do is we can grab the three rare books that were stolen from the Vatican and the first one is here. Yeah, where we beat uh, Albert Simon for the first time. You received the Codex of Luri. Yeah, he drops it when you, when you beat him, but there's more to come, so let's take a look at the valuables. There it is there. Secret Book of Summoning the Other Gods. Greatly sought after, this ancient tome is rumored to be a secret guide to summoning the other gods. So this is one thing we need to get uh, a side quest is required for this, so start out from the small and go to the big. Anyway, uh, let's see. Last time, I see if uh, Albert Simon's fight is in this thing. Yep. It's Amon, because we fought him last episode. Amon, demon that appears in the King Solomon's Book of Magic. Lemington, a violent, evil, and cruel soul. Its appearance signifies the end of the world. Well, I guess it sort of did, because, you know, the float appeared afterwards in the last episode. So, yeah, like, uh, um, Simon has summoned, summoned uh, the creature that uh, he wants to destroy the world with. But then afterwards, he gets the float, and then now he's going to summon God, so we have to stop him. But yeah, side quest before that. So I'm going to go over the um, NPCs here in a second, but I want to get into the side quest stuff. So, oh yeah, off screen, I decided to bring Shujin and Margaret here just to give them some levels. Equipped them with the monkey rings to get their experience points up. Um, at level 28, Margaret gained the on switch ability, which she calls in a favor to drop something on someone's head. Yeah, if this game ain't goofy enough already. And then uh, uh, Zhu Zhen got the Fury Serpent at level 31, I believe. Uh, that is a all attack uh, water elemental spell, so very nice. But anyway, um, I've got to go to the next area for uh, the book, which is an, a, a strange place indeed. We need to go see some orphans, or at least a previous place where orphans were, were beat. So anyway, I'm I'll meet you at the former orphanage where Jake was, so... All right, we find ourselves here at the orphanage here to get another one of the documents. You're probably thinking, why do we have to come here? Well, remember what Jack was saying about bringing back his dead mother? Well, and what the document actually does. But anyway, let's talk to the children. Precious Nikki. Oh, no, precocious Nikki. Wayne is surely a nice-looking man, but he isn't really reliable. As I look closer, you're also nice-looking. I'm exhausted from playing with a kid. Uh, I'm reliable, Wayne. Whatever, I'm with Nikki. My heart starts pounding. I wonder what she thinks about me. Uh, doesn't like you. Apparently likes older men. Ugh. But anyway, let's talk to this kid. Try show Sophie. My, my name is Sophie. Um, it's hard for me to talk to people for the first time. But yeah, after Jack gets killed, uh, the uh, orphanage becomes uh, populated with uh, children here. So yeah, you could easily forget about this place if you weren't trying to do uh, side quests and everything like that. So just keep a uh, uh, like before doing what we're about to do. Make sure to be aware of like what's in certain rooms, like what might be coming out here in a second. You'll know why in a moment. My dad, uh, why are Ronnie? My dad's a pilot. Someday he's going to come for me in a big airplane. All right, if you say so, even though your name's Liar. Liar! Anyway. All right, let's talk to a lady here. Who are you? Kind Hearted Mall. I decided to look after children here at the orphanage. I just love kids. Hmm. We want to check whatever's in this pot. I think, I think, remember that there was the body of that one guy, uh, Jack's mom in there, so I wonder if we can get past him. Oh, the kid's in the way. Hey, kid. Hey, mister, want to play with us? Uh, I'm busy. That's why grown-ups are no fun. Yeah, sure, I guess I'll play with you. Why not? You have one minute to find my hidden friends in return. There are four of them. Okay, begin. Now, the thing is, uh, we do want to find these kids, and the kids, the way the kids are placed, there's three different variations on where they're going to be, but you pretty much have to check every room anyway, but we'll see which which version I got. And we do actually have a minute to do this, so. All right, let's go. Yeah, see the timer running, so, all right. Well, there's the first kid right there. Pretty obvious. Darn, you found me. All right, let's see who's in here. Uh, let's see, oh. You've got the wrong person. No, I think, I, I think I've got the right person, so. And then there should be a kid back here. You came here to look for me? I'm so happy. I'm so happy. And then the other kid should be in here. Uh, the one I got, this is the random part I got, so I knew immediately. That was surprising. Uh, all right, and then we and we do have to actually talk 
to Gene again to complete it within the minute. But yeah, it's not really that hard, even if you get like a weird randomization on it. So, but like I said there's only three different versions. Wow, you're really good. Thanks, kid. I guess. Hey, you're really good for a grown-up. All right then, I'll let you through, Mister. Hmm. All right. Come play with us again, okay, Mister? We'll give you a real workout. Is anything different? Please come again, okay? The kids had a great time. Oh, all right. Well, what's this pot got to offer? Oh, you fared well coming here. Hmm? What the? Who said that? Whoa. Whoop. <laughs> if I could do sound effects, I'd do the uh, do the uh, the Mario coming up the pipe. Are you mad? Oh, you're mad calling me mad. Little brat. Oh, and that's, uh, was it Pot Lover Mackin? No, no, don't get so exasperated over a mere child. Here, you can have this. And this kid gives us the Emigre Manuscript. What? I found it in this lab. It's gross. So you can have it. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's how we get the manuscript. So let's take a look at the valuables on that one. Emigre Manuscript. Legendary manuscript written on a skull. It is scribbled Stone Temple. Take the path of the left dragon. The bookmark smells of violets. Hmm. Remember that for later. But anyway, before let's talk to that kid again. I feel like, the, feel like there's something different about this kid. So let's change out a uh, our accessories to the pocket watch. And this is very important. Otherwise, without this, you might not be able to get this without really memorizing it from something else or just, you know, just just trial and error, I guess. Don't much like coming out of my cauldron, but for a lottery. Want to? I don't want to do it. You should say before you leave. Okay. But anyway, yeah, we, he's uh, the third lottery member. So uh, let's uh, count me in. Now, oh, we can win a crucifix from this. Very nice. We can actually get the three crucifixes uh, through the side quest. So those are better than pocket watches by far. Uh, but anyway, so you can get crucifixes, seal wisdom, pure extract, pure root, and tissues. And now you're probably thinking to yourself, folks, well, that looks easy, right? If you don't have the pocket watch, that's invisible. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to see what that was. So this is why you quit the pocket watches when you do the lottery members. Here you go, a prize. We get a crucifix for that. To meet the chairman, you have to play the lottery with all the other members. The secret's out. Too late. So that's also a thing is like, hopefully you've been playing all the lottery members from the uh, Asia. If you haven't, you can't find the lottery uh, member. So keep that in mind. So. Please come back, handsome young man. Till then, I'll be waiting patiently with Wayne. Uh, like Bruce Wayne? Or... Uh, I, want, I wonder if Nikki has someone she likes. I mean, maybe she even likes me. I wish. Well, you have to be, if you want to get lady to like you, her, you have to be a bit bit aggressive. Not super aggressive, but just aggressive enough to know that you're interested. Don't ever come back. I won't miss you at all. We know he's a liar, so. What are you, like Bizarro children or something like that? There was no one in this room, was there? Okay. Yeah, they have different dialogue if you do the mini game or not, so. Alright, and Miss Shy Sophie here. Please come and play again. Alright, well, we'll try. Alright, let's head on out of here, so. Okay, so. Now I want to go back to the monastery. However, I need to swap out my party. So let's grab. Oh, this isn't the main book we're finding but it is a book we want need to find for a side quest so whoops i didn't mean to do that although we're about to get our final weapons here pretty soon i will actually use acupuncture for the final bit of the game because we'll have our fi final weapons and armor and stuff but anyway we want to put alice and zhu Jin in the group for this one and we want to head back to the monastery so let's uh, back out Oh yeah, now that we've gotten the uh, Emigre Manuscript, the Cave Temple unlocks this area. We don't want to go there yet. We will eventually, though. All right, with Alice and Zhu Jin in the group, we'll have a unique dialogue that will occur when we go into the monastery itself. I could have done this earlier, but... I want to go in kind of a weird order. Yeah, this cutscene occurs if you have these specific members in the group. It's like Zhu Jin's looking over at James's grave. What's up, Master? When did she ever start calling him Master? Uh, I've been checking this grave out. I'm just checking this grave out. It's been bothering me since before. But don't worry, I'm not up to any tricks. You guys just go kill some time somewhere. Paying his respect, huh? As usual, your curiosity is way out of control, Pops. Well, anyway, come on, let's get over there. Let's go over there. Let's have a bit of a moment, shall we? Even so, it's unreal to have your destiny turn out like this. 
We've come a long way, huh? Yuri, do you regret it? I mean, coming this far? Regret? <laughs> what are you talking about? No way! You know, until I met you, I was leading the life of a loser. I'm confident about what I'm doing now. I know that I'm needed. My power of fusion, which I thought was so terrible, is what allows me to protect you. Sometimes I even think such stupid things like, boy, is this happen happiness. <laughs> I sound stupid. Yuri. I don't know how this battle's going to turn out, but the day you die, I'll die too. What are you saying? The night of that storm, I was just a kid and I couldn't protect my mother from monsters. But somehow I survived thanks to my power. Ever since then, I cursed my own existence constantly. I asked myself, why do I have to be all alone? What could I have done differently that night? Why didn't I die? That time? Yeah. That night was the beginning of everything. What a storm! I'll say, unusual for this time of year. Spring will come soon, then once it warms up, Dad will come back. Yes, then all three of us can be together again. It's not too long now, Mom. Even if you if you miss him, you've got to be strong. Well? Oh, yeah! No, no, what? There's something I want to have. It's it's a little brother or sister. My, what are they? Lua told me when Mommy and Daddy are together, they can make babies. They have seven brothers and sisters over there. That's what I want. Wow, what are you, Catholic? Or Irish? Well, I'll talk with Dad about it. F who are they? I got it! Viri, don't open it! Huh? Ah, it's Leo's dad and Monkey's uncle! What's going on? You all look so weird! You're not human, are you? <laughs> Here's some fine food. <laughs> the Earth Sage sent us here to eat the two of you. No, not him. Mom, I'm scared. What happened to them? <laughs> this is so fun, but no matter how much I eat, I never get full. S stay back. No. gave her life protecting me from the monsters. But when I looked into her eyes a moment before she died, it awakened in me the blood of my father that had been lying dormant. A fire ignited within me, and my emotions exploded like a hurricane. I don't really remember anything after that. The next thing I knew, the room was littered with the torn up body parts of the monsters that had killed my mother. I was the only one left alive in a house covered with blood. I clung to my mother's cold corpse all night long, weeping and begging her to forgive me for failing to keep my promise to my father, for failing to protect her. I could never stand to feel that way again. So the day that I failed to protect you is the day that I too will die. Da da da. <laughs> Stop looking at me that way. It's nothing. I'm, I'm just kind of like 
I just kind of like you, that's all. Yuri, I l love... Way to ruin the movement, Zhu Jin. Hey, hey, look at this. Look what I found. Exclamation point question mark. Oh, uh, um, am I interrupting something here? Why can't anyone ever say those three words? It's so easy. No, not at all. Right? <laughs> huh? What? So, what is it? What'd you find? Oh, right. It's this. Look. What is it? An ancient book called Book of Rituals. I found it in a hidden compartment on that grave. It's got all kinds of interesting stuff in it about old traditions, according to what it says here. Not again. We'll take care of that later. Stupid. We were having a special moment. I'm about to... What did I do? Are you mad at me? What makes you think I'm mad? Oh, it's Yuri. Wait, what? What? Why did you say that? Master, I'm going after him. Sheesh, what did... Just when I was going to tell them about this amazing secret. You received the Book of Rituals. And unfortunately, we don't get that moment where they confess their love for each other. Oh, well, maybe eventually. But anyway, yeah, we got another valuable here in the Book of Rituals. Old book engraved with an image from Mount Olympus. It says, The Memory Palace. Cross the rainbow, then follow the drops of blood to the Royal Garden. Keep that in mind, viewers. That will be important for later. I'm serious, actually. All right. So now, it's time to start unlocking everyone's final weapons and stuff like that. And let's go with the easiest person to do that with, which is Margaret. First, let me go ahead and uh, let me go uh, find uh, Mei Wan, and uh, let's just go to London really quick, just because it's faster to do that. Yeah, I know I can do this in the place I'm going to go to, but I just want to do it right now. So, it doesn't matter who your other party member is. We just need to have Margaret in the group. So, yeah, we'll just no, I'll put Juju in. Why not? All right. So now we need to head back to Rowan. Rowan, France. Apparently, even though it's seven days to the world collapse, but we got plenty of time to go to Rowan. Oh yeah, and the ancient ruins uh, unlock when you get another of the books too. So, but we're not gonna do that quite yet. Anyway, let's head to Rowan. And you need to make sure I have Margaret in the group, and we want to go to the church here. So, the door of the church is heavily locked from the outside. Right. I forgot. I have to go through the back. I thought we unlocked it at one point. No, oh, well, whatever. Anyway, we want to check the uh, altar here. Sure, whatever the religion, it's all the same god. Maybe I'll chant a few Nimba uh, Nimbutsus myself. He's going to set their chant. I forgot what everyone else does. It's been forever since I've done it. But basically, whoever else you bring basically ends up di getting distracted at the uh, altar. So, Please, silly boy. Why don't we have a talk over there? What do you want to talk about, Margaret? We don't really have much one-to-one -one talks, really. What is it? Go in there like the other time. I know all about it, right, Father Yuri? She's making a reference to the side quest uh, where you helped that mar those married couples. If you don't, she doesn't mention that. Hurry up. All right, all right, fine. No, I just wanted to talk to you about something. All right. I guess we're going to act like a priest again to hear a confessional. It seems someone is in the neighboring confessional. Question mark? Um, um. Father, would you listen to me for just a few minutes? The world today seems to be heading toward disaster. No, no, I'm not talking about Albert. The countries known as the Powers are pouring massive sums of money into building up their militaries like children vying for the biggest collection of toys. <laughs> and you know, at first I thought I would just use Yuri and the others. I thought I could use their remarkable powers to benefit our nation. Yes, just like the Japanese army was trying to do. But the more I watched that reckless Yuri in action, the more ashamed I started to feel. I mean, Yuri really isn't thinking about anything. He's not thinking of a national interest, or of politics, or of money, or of anything he has to gain or lose. He just sees that girl, and he sees all the forces lined up against her. 
and so he protects her, nothing more. Just like some comic book hero, you know. But I'm a little jealous. I mean, the really important things in life aren't about profit and gain, right? I think maybe I'll start searching for those things too. The truth is, I'd really like to search for them together with him, but... Oh, forget I said that. Thanks for listening to all my silly talk. Looks like every character is going to have their uh, animated moment, or animated cutscene moment. Yeah, pretty much. Well, for the most part. Not everyone gets specifically everything, but dot dot dot. Makes me so excited. Oh, better now? Here, this is for you. A tiny box was slid into the small window. You received the pearl ring. Play, play now. I guess she didn't want to straight up tell us up. She wanted to do it via confessional or something like that because I guess she's embarrassed. I don't know. But anyway, let's take a look at that pearl ring we got. Where are you? There it is. Pearl ring cuts water damage in half. Yeah, so any water attacks you get will immediately be halved. So uh, that's best to give to, like, um, Zhu Zhen, for example, because of his uh, uh, weakness to water. A ring with a freshwater pearl on a base of blue coral worn by the witch Ezla. The rainbow-colored pearl is still glowing larger. Cuts water damage in half. All right. And that's her story. However, we're not quite done yet. Sorry about that. It's been a long time since I chanted any Nabatsus, and they made me sleepy. Hey, what's the matter? Your face is red. Uh, it's nothing. <laughs> So, that's it. Let's go already. That was a bit too spicy. Huh, <laughs> oh well. Was that a bit spicy? It didn't seem that spicy to me, but then again, Yuri is supposed to be kind of like a young man, so maybe he gets affected by that more easily. But anyway, uh, something else happens. However, I want to save it before I do that. So let me leave town really quick. Because this event has to occur first for it to uh, happen. So I'm going to save here. Oh yeah, you know, Yuri's gained a few levels because he's trying to grind uh, Margaret and Zhu Zhen's levels up a bit. So, But anyway, after doing that thing with Margaret, uh, something else happens to this gentleman right here. Is my nose like too big or are you like thinking it's cool? Oh wait, wrong voice. Can I touch it? No, of course not. Like, he <laughs> he he he. Like you got a lottery ticket? You, like, want to play? Yeah, for whatever, for very, well, there's a very specific reason, but if you have Margaret in the group after a little thing, his, his, uh, he becomes, lot, he turns into lottery member two all of a sudden. If you take Margaret out of the party, he returns to his other lottery thing. Like, no thanks. Tee hee hee, I, I like patio. But anyway, let's put the, uh, actually, I don't think I need the pocket watch for this one, but I've already got it equipped, so. All right, let's, uh, sure, I'll play. Sure, I like play. But anyway, if we uh, do this quest, we can get, uh, we can get the uh, 10 gauge, which is actually uh, Margaret's best weapon in the game. So, yeah, unfortunately, this one's a little fast, so we'll see. This is why I wanted to say it, save it. Um, yeah, let's see if I can. Yeah, I'm trying to focus, so. Uh, see if I got it. Probably not. Nope. That was a little off. Oh, well. I do need tissues, but I don't want to waste them right this second. Hey, 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 it missed. It's like so funny. You receive tissues. Sometimes I like forget who I am and stuff. Hey, hey, hey. All right, I'm going to reload and then I'm going to do it when I get a, um, when I actually do it properly. So I'll be right back. Yeah, finally. That took me like six tries. <laughs> Tee hee. I'm like, give me a prize. You received the 10 gauge. Sometimes I like forget who I am and stuff. Tee hee hee. Glad to see you're doing so well, Margaret. What the? How does he know Margaret? Aw, oh, crap. He's only splitting his, uh, his kid. He's your father? He has a fake nose on. Cute, doesn't it? Think he's uh, in disguise wearing that thing. Things dead. But yeah, that's her father. So anytime you go there with Margaret, he becomes lottery member number two. If he uh, 
if he if you don't have her in the party, he becomes the other one, I remember. But anyway, I forgot to go over Margaret's uh, outfit from the last episode, or her web, her guns she got, um, the Mauser prototype, which we got in that one dungeon. Um, rapid firing machine gun prototype uses nine millimeter para, parabellum bullets. Its unique wooden stock can be fixed to the ground as a base, heavy but incredibly powerful. And then finally, we get use the ten gauge, the most powerful gun for her in the game. It's her ultimate weapon. Many brave warriors owe their survival to this weapon. It excels both in firepower and special attack. Its previous owner's name are inscribed on stock. Ooh, but yeah, uh, gives her 155 attack, 141 special attack. So I also forgot to go over Zhu Jin's weapons from that I bought from the shop. Or that I got from the dungeon or in the monastery. Staff blessed by the spirits of Matama. In the hands of a master, the staff, very staff itself is said to become sentient. Very few can tap into its true power. And then the code of sages, when we got in the dungeon. A uh, sage's short coat, worn only by the highest level Ta Taoist adept. Those without spiritual power cannot touch it, cuts fire damage in half. All right. So now, let's go ahead and get Margaret's uh, special suit. Um, where is the... There he is. Haha. -ha. Silent Peddler. Now, the Silent Peddler, if you've walked 10,000 steps, I would walk 10,000 miles, and uh, I would walk 10,000 more. But anyway, if we give walk 10,000 steps, we get the leather jacket, or sorry, leather suit, which is Margaret's ultimate armor in the game. So let's equip that. Yeah, very nice boost to everything. 139 defense, 130 uh, spirit defense. 67 physical void and 66 spiritual void or spirit void. Whoa, look at that thing. <laughs> eh, woo, risky. Uh, leather suit, protective gear custom made for the killer queen Malkovich, who declared, No rubber suits for me. Cuts fire and water damage in half. Not bad, she says. Yeah, very nice for her. So, yeah, we've got our best equipment in the game. So, let's see. I think, I don't think there's any other. Actually, let me rest really quick just to. Uh... Yeah, sure. Just to heal myself since I'm a bit behind. Yeah, I no longer have to wear the pedometer if I don't want to anymore. But we still have... Let's see, how many... But we can still uh, do the services. But after we have uh, after we get the leather suit, they, uh, they remove 10,000 steps from your thing to give you the leather suit automatically. But now we, we can get like the belt of power, or we can work towards it. So if you want to work towards it, great. Um, I might still keep it on maybe to try and get the belt of power, but it's not required. But uh, I, I wanted the leather suit is what I really wanted. I don't think anyone else has an extra dialogue, but... Okay. Well, anyway, before we call it an episode, let's uh, let's find out what happened in uh, Asia. You know, it has been a while. It kind of just... We kind of just uh, leave, and we don't... We only hear a bit about what happens. Well, if we go here after meeting with uh, Kudelka, we can find out what happened. Do you mind? This is my dressing room, and I appreciate it if you didn't come barging in like that. Oh, it's Yuri and all the rest of you. This is perfect. I was just on my way to find you. You were? What What I do to deserve that? Relax. I just wanted to deliver a letter I have for you, meaty. A letter? <laughs> I have something for you, McFly. A letter! Here, it's from Kiwa in Shanghai. Yeah, I like the fact that they don't completely forget what happened in Asia. Like, we get to find out what happened after we left so, from Kiwa? Let's see. How are you? A year has passed since the Shanghai earthquake. Things are slowly recovering. Yeah, because we were six months here in Europe, and I guess it's assumed six months more occurred in Europe trying to find Yuri and get to this point. So yeah, about a year has passed. So. Life is tough, but my father and I are both doing well. How are you doing? Sergeant Kata visited our house today. He wants to know where you are. He realizes that we didn't know, uh, so we made small talk, and then he left. It was a tragic story, one I didn't want to write, but I feel I must let everyone know. Uh-oh. I don't like where this is going. Kaito. Or Kato. Yes? You puzzled me. Ignoring your order to return to Tokyo so you can remain in this type of place. Uh, uh, no, I, I am interested in the forbidden magic that the head of Dehua freed. I've been doing some research. Research? All you do is hang around me all the time, running errands. Uh, uh, Sergeant Kato, I think your simp is showing. No, I, I just, uh... You, you're protecting me, right? I appreciate it. Uh, huh? Um, da, da, da. Now that Shanghai is under our control, I've just allowed Whimsical Hound Dog to the higher-ups. A replacement dog will be sent. Uh, Commander, wh what are you talking about? 
You're, you're still a hero of the Japanese people. Kato. Uh, yes? I wonder what Yuri and the others are doing now. Yes, that, that they have been missing ever since the Shanghai earthquake. I haven't heard anything more since. I'm sure they're traveling far, holding firmly to their convictions. No one to answer to, just following their instincts. Somewhere deep inside, I envy them. Lieutenant Colonel! Why are you shouting all of a sudden, Sergeant? Even you could do it, Lieutenant Colonel. Anyone can do it, as long as they truly desire it. There are no rules in life, only the ones you make for yourself. I want to live a life of no regrets. It may be difficult, but only you can change the way you lead your life. Wow, your man's showing, dude. Are we, are we stepping up to Chad? Kato. Uh, Lieutenant Colonel, I, I love you. I would follow you down whatever path you decide to take in life. Hey, at least he's taking his own advice. I am Masuru Kato. Will not leave anything to regret. Dot, dot, dot. She's, like, shocked. Because... Uh, what am I saying? Dude, you just said to not live in the now and all this other stuff, and now you're almost backing out of what you just said. Yes, I think you're right. Hmm? Yeah, not much of a confession for love when we're immediately distracted by these goons. What? Not before you enter. Lieutenant Colonel Kawashima, we received an urgent wire from Tokyo. Please come to HQ immediately. A wire from Tokyo? Is it from my father? Okay, let's go. Colonel! It's okay. I'll be right back. Then we can continue this conversation. Yeah, about the whole declaring your love for me. That'll be an awkward conversation. Why are you shaking? Well, let's go. This'll end fine, right? No problems. <laughs> uh oh. Lieutenant Colonel! Lieutenant Colonel, hang on! Lieutenant Colonel! <sighs> it appears my father has deserted me. We'll get your help right away. Hang on! I guess I had it coming. The last gear fitting. Lieutenant Colonel, hang in there. Kato, thanks for everything. Uh, why? Yeah, not everyone in this world gets happy endings. Kawashima got killed and Kato confessed his love just at the right, wrong moment, it seemed like. Or maybe the right moment, depends on how you're feeling, but... Uh, he was in horrible estate. We couldn't find any words to console him. Sergeant Kato will take Lieutenant Colonel Kawashima's ashes back to Japan tomorrow. Yuri, there are many rebel factions in Shanghai fighting against the Japanese army. I hope nothing happens. I also hope they'll come back to Shanghai soon. I've already played the sequel. Let's just say that doesn't happen. From Kiwa, P.S. I've enclosed a scarf I've knitted for you. Please pass it along to Zhujin. You received the coat of the adept, even though it's supposed to be spaced, which is Zhu Jin's final outfit or final armor piece in the game, his ultimate armor. Kawashima is dead. Oh, life is so ironic. Now, don't you guys turn out like that, you hear? Because that would really make me cry. Now, let's take a look at the uh, outfit there. Code Sage would become the coat of adepts. Yeah, it's supposed to have space into it. Whoever did the translation for this game forgot to, like, take out some of the uh, code numbers and or they forgot to put like parentheses and stuff like that for the code numbers and they forgot to put spaces sometimes but the thing is the Japanese language of kanji is different from American characters so they might not have had enough room for some of it but yet they were able to do code of the sage and not code of that up so anyway yeah it's not a big big jump as with Margaret but uh but still something nice for him so a short coat woman by Kihua a short coat woman by Kihua with the soul of a young girl sniff sniff Sniff, sniff. Huh. It smells like Shanghai. The wear is filled with energy. Cuts fire and water damage in half. Yes. Very nice. So, yeah, we're good to go there, but uh, we're not quite done with the side quest yet. Oh, no, no, viewers. So many more places to go. So many more places to explore. But, but first, 
How about Keith? What what's going on is uh, what's going on is Castle, and what and how does his family feel about him going out on journeys and stuff like that? And what other books will we find? Find out next time in the next episode of Shadow Hearts. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.